Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hope you're all well. Just gonna give this a second as it's all over the place. I hope you are all well and that you've had a great weekend. So this is the weekly reading for the week ahead. So as always, I have some cards in front of me that I've pulled from various decks just to see what we need to know this week, what energies we can work with, um, and anything else that comes up. So tomorrow we go into the full moon in Virgo. Okay, now we are in Pisces season and Virgo is the opposite sign to Pisces. So Virgo really brings Pisces that, um, that kind of balance, right? As it so happens, I am a Piscean with a Virgo moon. Okay, so this makes complete sense to me because um, Pisces can be very much off in the clouds, <laughs> very creative, very dreamy, um, and all of those things, right? Where Virgo is very practical, very down to earth, um, a bit of a perfectionist for sure. Um, but it brings that lovely balance. So there is a lovely balance um, energetically this week. Okay, so starting from tomorrow. Okay, so we are in that full moon energy now. It may look like, you know, the sun is the moon. <laughs> the moon is, um, you know, pretty large in the sky now. So, um as I was saying, like, you know, Virgo is very organized, logical, down to earth, where, you know, Pisces, we have this emotion, this sensitivity, right, um, with our heads in the sky as well, and our hearts set on um, kind of doing creative things rather than doing the, you know, the kind of the business, the structure, the masculine energy. So um, the Virgo in for the, Vir the full moon in Virgo is going to be really, really powerful, right? I'm going to be doing lots of manifesting, sigil magic, and all the things um, tomorrow just because it's so in alignment with us. But full moons, you know, help us to manifest. So, you know, it's a great time to do a spell. It's a great time to look at what you're manifesting and those intentions that you set at the new moon, okay? So... Um, this Virgo moon is really asking us to be choosy about what we spend our energy on, okay? Um, and that's really, really important. And looking at the cards that have come up today, it's important to let go of what isn't serving us. So, you know, be really picky about the where you spend your energy, where you spend your time, okay? So, um, the cards that have come up are the Six of Swords. And that for me is very much about moving forwards and leaving people, things, experiences, situations behind you that are not serving you. It is time to move forwards, even if you don't know exactly where you're headed. This is a time for change. Okay, you know, we're coming into spring in the northern hemisphere. So for me, that's very much a time for growth, expansion, you know, seeing new things, seeing the intentions that we've planted starting to come to light okay the the days are getting lighter the uh the the temperature is warming up um, and we can really start to see life um and growth coming in here so if you want to see growth in your life or in your business right now it is time to move forwards and leave behind the things that are no longer serving you. Hey, Linda, um, and that's really, really important, even if you don't know where it is that you're headed. But we're also being reminded that we do need to put those wishes, those desires, those intentions out into the universe and start building ourselves solid foundations to help us to reach our goals, dreams, and desires. Okay, so I've been talking a lot about structure and foundation today in Wealth Diva. Okay, we need structure and foundation so that things don't come crashing down. You know, when you look at the order of the tarot cards, the tower is just before the star. The tower comes crashing down and the star, we start to rebuild things. 
right? So this is your opportunity to start putting structures and foundations in place to help you to get closer to your dreams, okay? Really, really important. And don't overthink everything. So the Queen of Swords is very much uh, in her head, okay? It is very logical, um, very much about the thought process. And when we want to put structures and foundations in place, when we want to get closer to our dreams, we need to be able to feel them, right? We need to be able to connect with our soul to what it is that we want, right? Feel what we want, not think about what we want, okay? We do need that balance of masculine and feminine energy, but by feeling into what your soul is telling you, what your soul is here for, the lessons you need to learn, and all of those things, you're going to be able to put these solid foundations into place to help you to move forwards okay so talking about you know the the mental things we've got here you've got the love and this is codependency and boundaries okay so look at where you are not putting boundaries in place where are you allowing people to take advantage of you where are you allowing um people to drain your energy right you need to keep your energy for yourself the more that you focus on you your needs your wants your desires the more energy you will then have for other people but do make sure that you put boundaries in place because i don't know if you can see this but this is like heads all over the place and everybody's energy being merged with yours okay you need to do some clearing this full moon is all about clearing letting go releasing what isn't yours right and you know we're empaths we're spiritual beings and we tend to take on far more than we realize that we've taken on so time for an energetic spring clean of your surroundings your environment but also of your own energy as well so that you can be fully in the present and fully in your own energy okay and that's really really important we also have earth pulsing so pulse pulse of the mother slow down and time in nature so spending time outside in the full moon is going to be really really powerful allow the full moon to bathe that energy into you okay full moons can bring up our shadow sides and the things that we need to clear okay so that also is really really important but try spending some time outside just you know bathing in the moon looking at the stars venus and jupiter really really close and really really bright in the sky at the moment jupiter obviously the planet of love okay and is the ruling planet for pisces one of the ruling planets for pisces and venus very very bright in the sky at the moment and venus is the planet of love okay so spend some time in nature um i'm having a fire tonight and burning old stuff absolutely perfect right this clears the energy this clears um the things that that we don't want it creates space both physically and energetically so absolutely a perfect time to burn things whether it's you know burning your intentions whether it's burning things that you no longer need whether it is releasing the things like you know the patterns the limiting beliefs self-sabotaging behaviors and like releasing them up to the universe today and tomorrow and the day after are absolutely the best times to do that okay um, and be an open channel okay so messages coming in for you at the moment we are more psychic or our psychic abilities open more in the full moon okay so pay attention to the messages that you are getting from your ancestors your spirit guides um it says mediumship ancestors spirits okay so there are beings that want to connect to you that want to give you messages so really make sure that you have the mental capacity the space and hi cheryl and the time to be able to connect to those beings okay they want to communicate to you they want to give you messages and to help you to move forwards okay so that's really really important make time for connection and lastly respect your physical body detox rejuvenate and relax so 
this moon is a great time for doing a detox. I'm personally going to be doing some ancestral healing tonight to, you know, clear toxic um, things that have come down from ancestors. So, you know, do some healing, do some clearing, um, detox uh, in the best way that you possibly can so that your body can be the best it can be right because that helps us with energy it helps us with alignment and so many different things so um be respectful to your body in this week while the moon is full and you know pay attention to um your mood pay attention to any emotions that are coming up um how your body wants to be um nutritioned that's not the word nourished <laughs> how your body wants to be nourished at this time as well okay so let me know how this week we let me know how this week's reading has resonated with you today have an absolutely awesome week if you haven't joined wealth diva let me know we've just done day three absolutely amazing uh, so um let me know if you would like to join before that ends and i will be back in the group it won't be this week nutritioned is a great word i love it linda nutritioned um i won't be back in the group this week because um my children and granddaughter are coming for my birthday so i'm having um a few weeks I'm not having a few weeks, I'm having a few days. I'm having a few days off. Um, so there won't be any lives in the group this week. But like I say, you can join me in Wealth Diva. Um, that finishes tomorrow. So I will be back next week. Have an awesome rest of the week. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Ciao for now.